We must learn in nature to see the express love and wisdom of God. Our thoughts of God should be linked with the birds, the flowers, and the trees. Let all things seen become to us the evidence of the unseen. And all the evidence of life be a means of divine teaching. As we learn to study the lessons in all created things and in all life experiences, it shows that the same law which govern the things of nature and the evidence of life are to control us. They are given for our good and only in obedience to them can we find true happiness and success? Let us consider the expressed love of God in nature. Let's consider one of God's unique creatures, the octopus. Did you know that octopuses are one of the several species that die after they mate or give birth? A male octopus will either fertilize the female's eggs himself or he will give the female his sperm to keep until her eggs are ready to be fertilized. Soon after this is completed, the male octopus will die. What lesson is God teaching us? In the book of Luke chapter 9, verse 23 and 24 says, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. When Christ draws us with his love and kindness, our response should be coming to him and denying ourselves daily. The male octopus in his nature shows us this lesson by helping the female octopus keep her eggs so that they can be fertilized, even if it costs him his life. The experience of dying daily is that born-again experience. No more children of darkness, but rather children of light, purified in heart. Our thoughts and motives, our actions are renewed. In the book of Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20, it says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. The female octopus lived long enough to give birth to her young, and then dies after her young octopuses are born. What lesson is God teaching us? As the octopus gave up its life so that others may have life, likewise Christ gave up his life so that we may have life. One may ask, what do you mean? Christ gave up his life so that I may have life? 
Before Christ was even born, before he died on the cross, there was life. But what is the life that I'm talking about? I'm talking about a life free from sin, an eternal life. In the book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, it gives us Jesus' mission and purpose for coming to this world. Matthew 1, 21. And it says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thus shall call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus' mission and purpose was to save us from our sins. So what does it mean to be saved from our sins? It means that we were in it at one point and were delivered or saved from it. What is the Bible definition of being saved from our sins? In the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 18 it says, Being then made free from sin, ye become servants of righteousness. So being saved from sin, being free from sin, you now become servants of righteousness. No longer servants of unrighteousness. When we choose to serve the Lord, what does he cause to happen within us? Staying in the book of Romans, the same chapter, chapter 6, and going up a little bit more to verse 6 and 7. And it reads, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we shall not serve sin. So what does God cause to happen within us? He caused our old man to be crucified with him and the new man to live that new life. And the body of sin is destroyed. But what is the penalty for serving sin? We continue to say in the book of Romans chapter 6, going to verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death. So the penalty for serving sin is death. But what is the gift? What is that reward for no longer serving sin? For being delivered from sin or freed from it? But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Eternal life is that gift. Some people doubt that we can be free totally from sin. But the Bible says if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And the Bible also says that if our sins be as scarlet, they shall be made white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And if the Son sets you free, you are truly free indeed. The Son of God left sinless heaven and came to this earth to be wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquity. He became flesh even as we are. He knew what it meant to be hungry, thirsty, and weary. He was a stranger and a sojourner in this world. He was in the world, but not of the world. He was tempted and tried as men and women of today are tempted and tried, yet lived a life free from sin. If we had to bear anything that Jesus did not bear, then Satan would have all right to say that God's power and grace is not sufficient for us. But God be praised that his grace is sufficient for all our needs, all our sins. So why not serve him today? So we cannot serve sin and Christ because the Bible says no man can serve two masters. Either we will hate the one or love the other or hold to the one or despise the other. We cannot serve God and mammon. So what do we have to do? We have to choose ye who we would worship. Choose ye this day who we would worship. In closing, I would leave with you truly desire Christ's righteousness in your life? If so, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, 
We thank you so much for your love, your mercy, your grace towards us. Lord, we believe that your cleansing blood can wash away all our sin, that we can be made free from sin, that we can accept your righteousness in our lives today. If we believe by faith in your promise and your word, then you can set us free indeed. Lord, bless us beyond measure. In Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Be faithful until next time.